Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back one more time from the Dynamic Billiard Austria Open Euro Tour Tournament. The matches have started today and we do have some interesting results for you. We had the match between two more mature players, I would say. It was uh, Enrique Correa from Portugal and Kent Carlson from Sweden. And I'm sure that these two will probably also meet next week at the Senior CC. Here today, uh, Kent Carlson was the stronger player and won the match with 9-5 over Correa. Then we had two younger players, Tim Dreuter from the Netherlands, just out of the juniors, and Maxim Dudanetz from Russia. He played last week in the Youth EC. Today, Tim De Reuter won 9-6 over Dudanetz. And then we had the match between Kestutis Tzadekis from Lithuania and Jakub Konya. Uh, that match went 9-3 in favor of Konya. Another name that we still remember from last week's uh, Youth EC is Daniel Macchio from Poland. He took down Juan Carlos Esposito from Spain with a clear result of 9-4 in the first round match. And then we had the match between Ayan Matrisi from uh, Albania and Bruno Moratore from Italy. These two are both regulars in the Euro Tour. They know each other for a long time and uh, this is the story of the Hill Hill Thriller. The match between Aya Matrisi from Albania and Bruno Moratore, Italy, went hill hill. And then Matrisi had the break shot, but only the six and the one ball crossed the head string, no ball pocketed, so it was an illegal break. And uh, Moratore handed it back to Matrisi, who had to play a push out here, as we can see. He not called it and uh, left an awkward shot for uh, Moratore, who tried to leave a safety, that is at 8-8, and he tries now to play safety and leave a bad shot for Arya Matrisi. But he left something that Matrisi could maybe make use of. The one ball was about to go, and he went for a try, but the one ball hit the four ball there. But since that outcome is a little bit lucky now, the cue ball is not really available for Muratore, so he went over two rails, and um, the safety battle started here. Both players try to not leave a shot for the other one because they know that if they leave a shot for the other player that might be the end for them in that match. So uh, this first round match was really uh, uh, dominated by tactical play and we can see Muratore here leaving again. Nothing for Matrisi who had to go for a rail first kick shot into the one and he done well. Trying to leave the cue ball behind the six, which did not really work out, but the two and the three blocked the way between the cue ball and the one ball. So again, Muratova had nothing to do, go for there, but here he came up with a beautiful safety shot over two rails, the cue ball into the one, and as you can see here, the option for Matrisi to go over the long rail, the easier one, is not on because there's a side pocket in the way, so he has to go the two rail thing in order to not commit a foul and leave ball in hand for Moratore at that crucial stage of the, of the match. And he knows that. He knows that uh, this is a very good chance for him to lose. And he commits a foul. He doesn't hit the one ball. Gives ball in hand to Muratore, who uh, said thank you and uh, started pocketing the balls. Five balls left on the table. Uh, he pockets the five and he comes up bit straight on the six ball as it looks from here but if we get the overview camera we can see there is a little angle for him to position for the seven to play it in the side pocket but we also have the eight and the nine on the table so Muratoro needs to see uh, what he's going to do with them so he pockets the six has the seven and he checks if the nine is available as a, as a combination and the way he approaches the seven now and plays position uh, is a clear indication that the seven ball is on meaning it's probably a dead straight combination otherwise he wouldn't uh, play the shot the way he does and uh, playing that combination shot into the pocket makes him a 9-8 winner of Arya Matrisi in the first round of the Dynamic Billiard Austrian Open. So that puts uh, Bruno Moratore through to the first winner's round, while Arian Matrisi needs to take the detour over the loser's side. Then we had another Hill Hill thriller. Manuel Pereira from Portugal played with Christian Kuzik from Estonia. That match went 9-8 in favor of Pereira. 
Out of 234 players, we also have eight female, female participants here. One of them is Natalia Zerostan from Russia. She had a very convincing 9-2 victory in her first round match over Jose Abos Luna from Spain. Currently, there's more first round action going on. And then in the first winner's round, we will have the seeded players joining the action. You want to follow that live? You can do so. Become premium on kazoom.com. I'll see you later.